Hey guys, what's the golden rule of espresso? Let's go. Hey guys, I'm Mike. Welcome to Espresso Mike. Welcome to East Biari Coffee House. Every few weeks I do an espresso focused video on this channel, put on my Italian soccer jersey and we talk espresso. And if you Google espresso or search espresso in any form or fashion, you'll probably hear about this golden roll. And the truth is the golden roll, well, it's not agreed upon and it's not even universal what it refers to. It typically refers to two things, the ratio and the extraction time. I'm gonna break down those details in this short video. Thanks for watching. And speaking of gold, how about Inter Milan winning the Serie A title? Juventus won the Copa Italia and Little Atlantia from Bergamo. Shocked the world in the Europa League. If you care about soccer, you've probably heard that was the, a big deal. Great underdog story, the best pound per pound team in the world of football. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, so the golden roll, well, sometimes you hear the golden ratio and it gets confused with the golden roll. And the golden ratio is how much coffee per shot of espresso. And you need a scale, digital scale to figure that out. And you need to be pretty nerdy about this, but there is a ratio for how much brewed coffee you should have, uh, how much coffee grounds, the weight versus the extraction and the output. The same with espresso. And in espresso, you're looking between 16 and 18 grams of coffee for a double shot, double shot filter, porter filter. Now most grinders now dose uh, or measure uh, as they grind, so you get this 16 to 18 grams of coffee, which should equal a double shot of espresso. That's one to two. So it will be, if it's 16 or 18, it'll be around 34, 35 uh, grams of espresso liquid. As you might've figured out, there's no universal standard or bureau that puts these things forward. In Italy, there is the closest thing that I know of where they actually measure the extraction time of your espresso machine uh, to certify you uh, as in a coffee shop that does espresso. In the United States, you don't even need to use, I know so many places, big pet peeve, that don't even use espresso in their lattes. So there are no uh, real standards. And again, the golden roll, golden ratio are always intermixed. But what I think is the most important thing, and to the home barista or even the professional barista, if you wanna get a good espresso, it really is about extraction time, which should be around 25 seconds. Here's the details. Most grinders will uh, procure the correct dosage or grams of coffee for you. And then your scale should also have a timer along with your unit of measurement. The end espresso should have a nice head on it if it's extracted correctly. So again, the golden rule, in my opinion, the extraction time, most importantly, the caveat here is you start it, you start the timing as soon as you push the button or pull the lever, in most cases, push the button to start the extraction. It'll probably take a second or two at least for the espresso to start to flow but by the time the espresso flows you'll be two seconds into your extraction which in my opinion if you want a nice espresso with a head on it uh, and a good tasting espresso it should be between 25 and 26 seconds give or take a second in that uh, in that extraction time so that's the golden roll it's confusing uh, we'll say it's two things we'll say it is the dose or the ground ground output one to two as well as, most importantly, in my opinion, the extraction time, which should be between 24 and 25 seconds. All right, guys, enjoy. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. We'll talk to you soon.